first step will be to open our web browser and we just need to type in the website to download the Go Global Client, cloud2.advancedtracker.com forward slash go global forward slash all clients dot html. You'll find the same link in your hosted services PDF. And then we just want to grab our Mac OS 10 client. And we'll download that. Next, we want to go into our system preferences and go to security and privacy. And at this point, you may have an option down here to select uh, to install from anywhere. But if you don't, we're going to need to open up the terminal here. And in the video there, uh, that option was not available. So we open up the terminal and we put in a special command. sudo space spctl space dash dash master dash disable and then we'll hit enter. Now it's going to ask for the user's password when the user types this in, it's not going to show any characters, so it can be a little deceiving. Basically, they just have to type it in, hit enter, and cross their fingers that it works. And if the password does fail, you can always just put the command back in and try it again. And here you'll get this sort of uh, little message here once it's accepted. And we'll just close down our system preferences. We'll go back in security and privacy and we see here we ha now have the option for anywhere and it's automatically put that on for us. Now we're going to be able to run this installer and from here it's very straightforward we just open up the package go through the wizard continue install it'll ask again for the user's password and the installation was successful. So close that down and we can move the installer to the trash. We don't need the installer anymore. And now we'll go to the launch pad and we'll just search for Go Global. And there it is. And then from here we can drag that down into the dock. Then we can launch Go Global, type in our host address which you can find in your hosted services document. And we'll just put in here an example host address. Now keep in mind this is only an example. Your host address may be different. You want to check your hosted services document for that. And then once you hit connect it will bring you to your login screen and you'll be able to sign into Go Global.